the next thing is that when our player dies, instead of just deleting a player, we are going to delete the world. To do that, let's go back to our prefab, and we're going to tag this as world. So let's go tag. Okay. And then we want to say game object dot find game object with tag world er. We can delete this part and copy this line. So now we're going to find the world and we're going to destroy that object which is a parent of the player so we'll also destroy the player. And then we also want to call out to our title screen. So let's go ahead and create a tag. Title screen. Add that. So now when we destroy the world we also want to call to the title screen to re-enable all the things we just turned off. So we'll make a public function. Reset game. And what this does is does this just the opposite. Alright, so let's go back to boundary. Called it um, title screen. Reset game. All right, and then the same line goes here. Okay, so let's make sure everything is saved. Okay, so now if we click play and we click the screen and we hit something. Uh, when the rainbow spawn, they are not children. So let's go ahead and fix that. And then all we want to do here is just say pipe dot transform dot parent equals transform. Okay. Let's try this again. And all right, some bugs, but it is getting there. You can click the screen again to start. All right, let's go ahead and make this slightly easier to click. Seems like it'll only click on the title. So, let's go ahead and fix that. So, to fix this, what we're going to do is we just want to move this thing slightly. I can go back to zero, and then we just want to bounce this to two so that it's inside the camera instead of just on like the front of it. If you click play, click the screen, it easily transitions in. And if you die the game resets. So that's that's pretty much it. Uh flappy ears.
uh, thanks for watching the series, and I hope you guys tune in for the next one.